Welcome to another video tutorial brought to you by GeekStreetWP WordPress support. Today we're going to show you how multi-site works inside of a WordPress install and how you can dictate what theme can be used across the network or what theme can be used on just a specific install of WordPress on your network. On the front end of my site, this is GeekStreetWP.com it looks just like a WordPress site and that's exactly what we want it to do because it is in fact a WordPress site. If I go to GeekStreetWP slash WP Admin you can see my dashboard and it looks just like the regular dashboard that you would find in a single install of WordPress. When you go ahead and install WordPress multi-site which we are not going to cover on how to actually install multi-site because I already have it set up we might be able to do that later but I'm going to show you is let's say you've already gone through the steps and now you want to go ahead and start creating your network when you activate multi-site you can see that what happens is, is you have your normal um, menu item here that lets you view your site or go to your dashboard multi-site installs this cool little hefty tool up here called my sites and this shows me whether I'm logged in as me or as in a, a specific user you can see all of the sites that I am a part of over here. Um, so I am the main system admin, so I can go ahead and come to Dashboard. And from Dashboard, you can see that, let's go, I'm sorry, I didn't do that right. Let's come into my Dashboard, and you can see that I go into WP Admin slash Network. This is uh, where I control my network. I can create new subdomains, I can add new users to the network which I can add to specific installs if I wanted to. Um, I upload my themes and I upload my plugins from here. You don't actually do it from let's say the dashboard here, you would do it from the network dashboard from here. So I have my main site like I said GeekStreetWP and if I come into WP admin slash network I can come to sites and all sites and you can see currently I have quite a few sites running right now. I chose to use subdomains and when you install WordPress multi-site you can either choose to do subdomains which would be something like usertickets.geekstreetwp.com or you can do subfolders which would be geekstreetwp.com slash usertickets either is fine it doesn't matter what you choose um, I chose to do subdomains because I like subdomains a lot more but so you can see that to add a new site it's really simple all I need to do is go ahead and type in the name of my site so let's do something awesome and I want to call this something awesome um, <clears throat> I can go ahead and add this site and just like this I have a new site created let's go back to all sites and you can see here's my new site I can go ahead and click visit and you can see that by default it's going to activate 2014 which is fine that's alright, but let's go into edit this. So from my network admin, I can go to sites, all sites, and then I can, just like you were going to do a post or a page, you can come in and you can go to edit. And this gives me some options. I can see what the domain URL is. I can change this if I wanted to. You can see the actual path, which is fine and the registered and last updated which is really cool this lets you know when the network was last updated or when the site was last updated um, and when it was registered it's pretty handy from here let's say I have you know 200 users that are live on my network but all they can see is my main domain if I wanted to I can go ahead and like I have a user called WordCamp ALBQ and I can add this user as an author to this site just like that so now this user can log into geekstreetwp.com and they can also log into 
somethingawesome.geekstreetwp.com. And I maybe I don't want to give them access to the site anymore. I can go ahead and remove them, which removes them off of this subdomain. It does not actually remove them off the network. We'll get into that in a minute. What I want to focus on is the themes. These are currently all the themes that I have available and ready to use if I chose to use them on this subdomain. So let's go ahead, come to somethingawesome.geekstreetwp.com, and let's go to slash WP admin. From here, let's say I wanted to use a new theme. I can choose from these themes only. You can see that I can't add a theme. If I wanted to add a theme, I would actually have to come to themes inside of my network admin, my WP admin network, and I can add them from here if I wanted to. Also, what I can do is, is instead of network enabling them, which means that this theme can be used across any subdomain whether it's new whether it's old if I go ahead and network activate this I can use this now on any subdomain I want to so I don't want to do that but I want to go ahead and I want to be able to dictate what themes I can use here so to do that I would come to sites all sites let's go to something awesome go to edit I'm going to go ahead and come to themes and now I can say, you know what, let's go ahead and add a reaction app and support press. And let's go ahead and hit enable. Once that's been saved, you can see that now when I refresh, I go from four to six themes that I can use now. Maybe I didn't want the reaction app, so let's go ahead and disable that. And I can go ahead and refresh this, and now you can see that now I can't choose that theme anymore. I can only choose the themes that I have here. So for example, let's say you wanted to run your own WordPress.org or Word, I'm sorry, WordPress.com and you wanted to let people sign up and for a monthly fee they can have their own subdomain of your main domain. So let's say you had like blogworld.com and you wanted somebody to have mysite.blogworld.com you can give them admin access here, which they can choose what theme they want, but they can't delete the theme. The same goes for plugins. You can uh, dictate what plugins that they can see, or you can force a plugin on them. So, for example, I could activate or deactivate a, kism a Kismet on this uh, subdomain. But if I wanted to, I can actually come to WP admin slash network and come to plugins and I can activate this entire plugin when it loads here across the network, which means now every site or every subsite of geekstreetwp.com is automatically activating and installing this plugin on it. So let's go ahead and refresh and you'll see a Kismet leave. Now I can't choose it anymore. I can force a plugin to be used, or I can give the site admin an option to use that plugin, which I think is pretty cool. So I can go ahead and let's go ahead and network deactivate this. Because, for example, maybe uh, somebody does want to use a Kismet on somethingawesome.com, but they don't want to use a Kismet on testingbootstrap.geekstreet.com. That's fine. You can go ahead and choose to do that. Back inside my WP admin network, let's go into my users and all users. This is where you would add a new user to your network. And if you wanted to go ahead and delete somebody from your network, you can go ahead and delete them from their network. Now they can no longer log into any site that they might have had access to. But like I said earlier, I can come back to sites, all sites. And I can come back to something awesome and I can go to users and let's go ahead and let's add WordCamp ALBQ again. Make them a subscriber, add new. Great. Let's go to users, all users. And now I can go ahead and um, I have a plugin in called a plugin installed called user switching. 
But so now I'm currently logged in as this person. I can't go to WP admin because I have a plugin that's blocking that. But I can go to something I have caps lock on something awesome dot geekstreetwp.com and now I have access to it because I'm still logged in as that person. Let me go ahead and, and let's switch back one more time because I don't want to be this person anymore. Super admin. I should be as a super admin. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, and log out and let's go ahead and yes. Let me go ahead and log back in again just to make sure I'm logged in again as me. There we go. Let's refresh the page. <coughs> and I'm currently logged back in again. I can go back to network admin and my dashboard. I currently have my site set up to where you can't see um, the WP admin bar across most of my sites just because I don't want to make a user feel like they have access to the dashboard. I want them just to have access across here. So I'm currently logged in as the main admin. You can see that I have access to my user tickets. Also, when I come to my dashboard, because I'm the main admin, I'm allowed to view any site that I want. Again, let's say for example I did give the user access to WP Admin, they'd be able to see only the networks they are allowed, um, assigned to, which is, you know, pretty cool. So this has been WordPress multi-site, how to use and how to dictate themes and plugins across your network. I hope you found this interesting, and if you would like to, go ahead and contact us by going to geekstreetwp.com slash contact and filling out a simple contact form. Thank you and have a wonderful evening.